All right, we're back at the table. And if you seen the last video of counting the TP rolls, um, I'm gonna do the same kind of thing. I, I really enjoyed being able to look back and analyze a larger quantity of, uh, you know, number rolls. So this time we're back again. Got 36, I'll shoot uh, with the blue chips. I'll mark white ones if I hit the point, black ones if we, uh, you know, we hit the seven on a, a point out, so it's actual winner. And if uh, we still have time, still feeling it, I'll do another set of 36, maybe change colors or something, and we'll do a 72 roll here. So, excellent. Let's do this. And oh yeah, one more thing. Since I have, uh, I know there's a few people out there that are you know, into their coin collecting, or uh, they, they like stacking silver or precious metals. So today, I thought I would use this, uh, I don't know if you can see this, five ounce silver National Park American Samoa from the National uh, Parks of American series. So I uh, figured I'd use that as my marker for now, just you know, for you guys that, that stack silver. So put this to the side this time. All right, so 36 rolls, and we'll throw up the analytics to go with it. Let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot the uh, hard way set for it's just for the sake of being able to analyze my toss and the, the way the dice are coming out. Again, this is more of a practice session for myself. So I'm gonna try to focus more and not talk so much and we'll just bust through this. But that seems to rarely happen the way I plan it, right? All right, here we go, we're coming out. Counting the TP rolls, session two. All right, hard way, here we go. We got a one, three, four. Yeah, there we go, focus, right? And we'll move the marker there. We got the 2020. Oh, I didn't even show that. So if you saw the bats, this is actually the five ounce silver version of the new 2020 quarter. The one with the bats on it. I figured 2020 bats, a little symbolic for myself to looking back. All right. That was a one, three, four. Okay, focus. One, two, three, craps three. We'll mark those over here. Hard six, three, three. Usually I'll mark my hard ways over here, but uh, for this case, I'll just keep all the numbers out here in the place area and keep track of them in the analytics section down below here, hopefully. All right, here we go. Shot four. One, five, six again. Oh, a little wider than normal. Three, six, nine. At least in here, don't have to wear my Mask, not gonna get myself sick. Social distancing from absolutely no one here. All right, here we go, focused. 
Oh, a little short. Yeah, not good at all. Seven. So I'll mark that here. I'll just leave that. Bring the bats back down. Yeah, that was easily determined to be a sucky shot. All right, just got to really focus here. Coming out. What was that? One, two, four, five. That was my sixth throw. Damn mathematical average. Not the, more like the average of me losing track of focus. Seven again, but that's a pass line, front line winner. Marked that with the black chip, but still not what I want. Okay, I, I need to stop talking. That's what I need to do. Five, four, nine. The bats. Oh, way short again. Three, six, nine, winner. But again, not where I was trying to or where I needed to land it. That was a winner. Coming out again. Huh. Pass line winner, but another seven. It's on the come out, we got a winner. Although for playing the all tall small, that's another loser. Okay, let's try to hit that or something. Avoid these guys. Two, three, five. New point of five. One, six, seven. All right, I think that's enough of those crapola things. My mojo's off here, so my so is my counting. We got a one hit that was up there, and two of these guys. That's three. Let me remove three of the blue chips from my counting stack, so that I know when I actually hit thirty-six. All right, now the groove is back. And I believe that was a loss if I remember correctly. See, I'm, Jesus, out of, out of, out of concentration. That's what I'm saying. Five, four, nine. Slide this guy back on here. I don't want to scratch up the case. Three, six, nine, winner. Now you can kind of see, besides those so many sevens popping up, you can see there's definitely been a repeat number here. All right, we're coming out.
three, six, nine. Gee, shocker, eh? Put the bats back out there on the nine. Ooh, hard six. Hard six. A little close to the wall for my landing zone. At least I didn't hit the wall first. All right. Still looking for that nine. Oh God, that was horrible. <laughs> Five, four, nine, winner. Oh, oops, bring the bats back home. Five, four, nine, winner. All right, we're coming out again. Two, three, five. And put the bats out on that five. The flip side of the nine is the five. Four, one, five, winner. Bring the bats home. Four, one, five. One, two, three. Got a three craps. Mark that there. I'd be a pass line loser in that case because <clears throat> it's still come out. One, two, three again. Same roll. Crap three. At least, what is it? It's consistent. Whether you're really off or really on, if you're consistent, you can adjust for it, or at least adjust your betting. So, and we're, we're coming out here. I'm a little short. Six, two, four, six. Bats found their new number. And we're like at roll, oh geez. We're above roll 20, we're in the 20s now. One, three, four. Just bring my second stack of blues in here, and of course I forgot to remove some. So I have four whites, two blacks, that's six. So I should remove another three off my counter. We got 13, 13 shots left in our first 36. All right, get back into the focus here. We're looking for a six. Six, two, 
628. I hadn't hit one of those yet. Oops, knocked that dice. That was a two. Six, two, eight. Oh, way short. Four, two, six winner though. Throw a white one out there, the bats come home. Get rid of a blue counter. We got four, two, six. Four, six, ten. We hadn't hit one of them yet either. Uh oh. Get the bats out there. We got a four, six, ten. Hard four. Hard four. All right, focusing in. One, three, four. Man, if you're Pressing or parlaying that four would be not too bad at the moment. Hard four again. Again, if you're pressing, letting that puppy ride, be a nice little pay. Nice little payout. <clears throat> Three, five, eight. We're down to our last six, so that must have been. 30. Roll 30, probably. Uh oh. 415. Got a little bit more air, higher arc on that one. That was why I was uh oh it in the air. Two, four, six. We got a six. We're looking for a ten. We got a two. Aces. Horn, it's a nice one. Oh, had to get a seven at the end coming in. <sighs> get rid of one of the counters. Oh no, that actually will go out there. The bats come home. Almost made it to the end. Okay, we got two more rolls here. Come out, coming out. 
So roll 35. One, three, four. Bats go out to play. They got the easy four. Roll number 36. Focus. Four, one, five. Four, one, five. All right, that wasn't too horrible, I think. Um, I'll have to go look and see these sevens were kind of spread out enough. I don't know, these might have killed any kind of long series. And then those two, well anyway. That's the first 36 rolls. We'll do, pull out the reds. And uh, let me take a quick drink break. I'll come right back and we'll start again with the second set of 36 rolls and analyze those. But first, actually, let's pop up that graphic and analyze the first 36. All right, so let's look at our first 36 rolls here. We've got uh, the roll numbers. We've got a left die, what the right die did, and then what the total number was. So let's look at the ugly first. So the seven outs, we had a, my first seven out was here. And then the next seven out, the second one was right here. And the third seven out was this guy way down here. So these other sevens was, let's see, this guy was a come out roll. So he was a winner come out and then hit the nine, got the point, we got the winner. So this was a come out roll winner as well. So at a total of five sevens, <clears throat> but only three of them we actually would have lost. But again, my ultimate goal, avoid the sevens. But still, five, that's less than the mathematical average for how many times seven should appear in 36 rolls. Now looking at the positive aspects of this, we got from here one heck of a roll session all the way down to that seven out there. We had a 21 roll without hitting the seven. So we sevened out on the 22nd roll. So that's a nice little run right there, no matter what your uh, betting strategy would have been. Then another thing jumping out at me here is right here, we had three fours in a row. We had a hard way, then we had an easy four, then we hit another identical hard way. So again, if you had your fours going, even if you weren't betting the hard ways, because you would have lost it there, but if you uh, were parlaying or pressing your fours, that's a nice little combo right there. Little consistency, not bad. Then the one other thing that seems to jump out at me is right here when we're on our long 21 roll session there, we started that off with the nines. And if we look, four out of these five rolls were nine. We had a five four, a five four, and also hit the three six, three six, and even then, that three was staying consistent even when it hit the hard six. So that's that's nice, um, little little consistency there. But uh, yeah, we saw that little cluster there. Four out of five shots right there were the nine. So that was again another good run if we were uh, pressing that bet. Oh yeah, one last thing jumping out I forgot. When we, right before we got to the end of our uh, 21 roll, when we threw this two right here, that completed the all small. We had a two, threes, fours, five, and six. 
We got the all small. Can't write with the mouse. <laughs> that paid 30 to 1. Now let's go back to the table and do one more set of 36. All right, we're back for the second set of 36 rolls. Uh, we'll just continue off where we ended. So we'll have the point out on the four. Get these red markers out here. And we'll continue away we go. Getting a little warm in here. It must be the Christmas lights. Anyway, hard way set. We're coming out with this new set of 36 rolls. So roll 37 here. Yo, 11. Finally hitting 11. There's a 12 boxcars. Although, having one die shoot halfway back across the table, not ideal. Little farther out, yep, I knew that was coming. That's an ugly seven. Ugly, ugly, ugly seven. The bats come home. I know that was, tends to pop a seven for me. I landed way out here. I wanna bring it in a little bit more. I don't wanna go too far to where I'm hitting into the hook. But that was a little too far out. Hard 10. And the bats find their new home. Four, two, six. Oh, that's a bummer of my choice words. <clears throat> that just did a slow roll to find its five. That sucked. That sucked. Okay, we're coming out. Six to eight. Bats go out to the eight. Let me just see if I can crank through some rolls here. Get into the game and not into chit chat. Yo, 11.
one five six. Aces, we got craps too. Yo, eleven. Well, since we've been back on the second set of 36 definitely been seeing the horn numbers pop up more 212 a couple 11s in there three two five Sorry for my squeaky table when I lean lean against it here. Uh oh. Four two six. Four, six, ten. Let's get a little bit lower and ideally a little bit more of a arch in there. A little arc. Ah, yeah. You can see in the air they were too much out of sync. So flipping opposite ways, not a shocker. Bats come down. We throw a red one down on the seven. Not a huge shocker. Four one five. And in case you didn't hear me mention it in any <clears throat> previous video, I, uh, this is a, would equivalent to a 14 foot table. So I'm shooting from stick left one. So, which means I'm about nine feet from that back wall. Two, six, eight. Yo, 11, get back on that 11 train. Three, one, four. Hadn't hit one of those yet in the second round. <clears throat> As well with this second set, I don't think I've hit a point either. Three, five, two, seven. That's the only way I get to come out shot. 
the come out roll. Not because hitting the points, because it keeps sevening out. That's a bummer. I already hit four in the second. Uh, fix the carpet. All right, coming out. Hard eight. That was nice. Hard eight. Bats go out to the eight. One, three, four. of the counter. The bat comes home. 628. <clears throat> oh, a little high. Yep. So that once again, I had <clears throat> in that case the right die was significantly higher than enough that when the two die come down and react off the wall, they're not going to be in sync. They're going to be, you know, 180 degrees off of each other. But that's a pass line winner in this case, since it was a come out roll. We'll mark this with the black chip. Get rid of a red for our counter. We're still coming out. But that would have lost the all tall small. Rat bastard. Five one six. Bat goes to his new home. Five, four, nine. Hey, hadn't hit one of them yet in this set. Guess I used them all up from the first set. One, five, six. We got a winner. Bats come home. Mark another red one out for the counter. What are we at here? We got nine left. Wow, we're sailing through them this time. Last video took forever. Hey, pass line winner. Bat rastered. Get rid of a counter there. The bat rastered. But we won, I guess. Again, lose my all tall small. Coming out. Hard 10. The bat goes out the play. Five one six.
Uh oh. Didn't even see that one. I think that came from the 12, right? Hard four. That'd be the flip side of hitting that point. Aces, we got a craps too. Pay the field, pay the horns. That's two five seven. That was so ugly. Not really. That one wasn't actually that bad. That was just a surprise shocker. A little too much of the randomness off the wall. So, of course, that's how the bats come home. Bat rastered. Got three rolls left. So, what's this? Roll 34 of the second set. All right, was that 69, 70? Yeah, whatever. We got a hard 10 back out there on that 10. Wonder what the hard way count is there. Anyway, bats out. Two rolls left. So roll 70 here. Four one five. All right, the final stretch, the last roll. Roll 72 or the 36th roll of the second set. Point is 10. Oh, 11. Make that even five for the 11 there. All righty. Once again, we'll have to go through and check out the numbers. So let's pop that up. Okay, let's look at how that second set of 36 rolls came in. So looking at the bad and the ugly first here, we had uh, seven sevens this time. So one more than the mathematical average. So, um, but only five of those sevens were uh, seven outs. So we had two that were come out winners. But anyway, a total of seven. So we have our first one there. And we hit another one a couple rolls later. Here we actually had a little streak going. And then this last one, this last one right here. Five, two, I think. This one, those are the five losing sevens. And I believe this guy and this guy, those were actually uh, the come out sevens. So come out seven winners. So one thing we had on the good side, we only made it through eight rolls before we hit the seven out on the ninth roll. And as we look at it, on this 36, I hit uh, the 7 more times than I normally do. But I was uh, also the other consistency factor that got adjusted 
well, compared to the first set of 36, if I look at it here, the second set of 36, besides the sevens popping up more often, I also had a lot more hardways pop up. So I think I had eight hardways. We have a hardway here, here. Um, kind of counting this one as a hardway, just because you know it's identical numbers. Just for analysis on my own part. Um, we had a hard way here. Got a hard way here. Another one. The aces popped up. I, I just, again counting the two for as a hard way, and then one more right there. So yeah, eight hard ways in that second set. So whatever uh, throwing I was doing differently, although it popped up more sevens, it also popped up more hard ways compared to the first 36 numbers I, I, I tossed. And again, with the second set of 36, another difference. I guess it looked like I only hit, uh, I only got the point twice. So I hit a point there. It's kind of funny. So that was out. We set the point, got an eight. One roll, second roll, boom. Got the point again. Then again, we got that seven. But then we set the point, one roll, the second roll, boom. Hit that point again. So that kind of nice, uh, kind of cool little, little result there. Unfortunately, then it hit another seven again. So I don't know about you uh, or just something that I've kind of noticed on myself. When you hit or when I hit the point, I guess it gets me out of that groove. It's out of that normal like boom, 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 just getting through the shots. So, you know, now you're thinking, oh, I hit the point. OK, now you start adjusting things, pull the puck down, you know, thinking come out roll, blah, blah, blah. So now you're, you're not shooting identical as your last series of shots so in like in this case when I uh, hit my number boom I'm, I'm out of out of focus just enough boom seven out or, or it's a I guess it would be a, a come out winner seven but still I'm trying to avoid the seven if I was going for all tall smalls and stuff but boom I hit a seven so not what I was wanting um, and again you know, set the number, boom, got the point, and n again, not focused 100%, not in the consistency, and just enough, it's like, boom, you lose it, you're out. So it's just kind of a weird, a weird thing that I kind of noticed on my own shooting. It's kind of funny. Uh, look, comparing this video and my last video that I did, uh, you know, the other counting with TP rolls, uh, where I did 72 rolls and analyzed it just like this, it was about the same time, the same distance after 50 or 60 throws that it just kind of, I lose my, uh, lose my finesse. And so, yeah, it was the second, second session again, started losing it, hitting a lot more sevens, but I was like still hanging in there. I mean, still getting the hard waves, but the sevens were still were in the new in the new results there of, of whatever I was doing different. So unfortunately, I only got the an eight series before hitting a seven on that. Um, yeah. So depending on how the betting's going, I may have broken even on some of these short ones before hitting another seven. Uh, I would have to lay it out for whatever strategy I was using at the time. Um, that was fun. Cool. Another 72 rolls in the analytics book for counting the TP rolls. And uh, thanks for sticking with me so far and uh, doing the uh, analytics and watching me practice and just different ways of thinking about the shots. Let's go back to the table. All right. So thanks again for checking out my video and just hanging out while I'm uh, practicing and analyzing my rolls. So thanks for Counting the TP rolls, second session. This is Toothpick Ted with our guest, the Bat Rastards.
Hope you enjoyed yourself, and I'll see you at the table.